Hey and welcome back. I'm super excited about today's video. I'm doing a butterfly kitchen. <gasps> I've never done a butterfly kitchen for you guys before. A butterfly is a visual organizer that needs fast, easy macro solutions. So no lids, no small categories. And Stephanie is 75% butterfly and 25% ladybug. I can't wait for you to check out this transformation. My name is Stephanie. Um, I have two kids. My daughter is nine and my son is six. And my husband, of course, lives here as well. This is my brand new kitchen that we just recently renovated. So it's kind of like my dream kitchen. And I thought I would totally be able to be organized once I had a new kitchen, but I am not. <laughs> So I love Stephanie's kitchen, and the first thing I noticed might be something that you noticed at home too when I'm trying to diagnose you. My fridge. Your fridge! <laughs> this is the first thing I look at when I go into somebody's home is, you know, when I'm trying to diagnose if they're visual or hidden, right. it's the front of their fridge. Yes. <laughs> because I'm seeing a lot of visual things. I'm seeing the cookie jars on the counter, and I'm seeing the things you use every day are out, and that doesn't bother you. You like that. Yeah, I don't mind it. But I also get a sense that you also don't want any clutter. Right. I think there's a perception about what organization looks like. Home edit. Right. Yes. Right? Everything Pretend. lined up and in pretty containers. But the truth is, I can't see you decanting your nuts. No. I just feel like that's not you and that's not me either. No. So we're going to set up a system so it's kid friendly. Yes. It's fast, easy organization, but it's still pretty because that, I think, is what... That's why you don't yes. feel like it's organized because it isn't pretty. pretty. <laughs> we can do that. We can do fast, easy macro organization and make it pretty, but it starts with decluttering. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. Could somebody wake me up? I don't want to be here and let the world pass me by. Yeah. I just see her face where ever I look, she's standing in the crowd. Okay, so your kitchen is beautiful. Thank you. I love it so much. It is lacking in a place for food. It is, absolutely. So you have like a snack cabinet there and then your like pasta and canned goods are so high, mm -hmm. you can like hardly reach them. Yes. I'm the only one in the house that can reach them. Stretch <laughs> arms, strong arms. Um, and then you've got a lot of things that could be for food, which I would like right. to zone this for food, which means I think food trumps gadgets. Okay. And so if we could do, if we could edit every drawer and cabinet and just really pare down the things you know you use and love, yes. we can consolidate and give you actual food storage. Right. It's also something I see all the time. People giving priority in their kitchen to gadgets over food storage. So she had every different way to slice, every different way to mince, every different way to grate, but not actual space for canned goods. We have to do a little bit of rearranging, a little bit of editing to make space for the things that matter. This is valuable real estate and it's filled yes. with, what is this? It's for martini actually. <laughs> so the Probably. most important drawer in the whole kitchen. And I'm just seeing like a lot of randomness. Yeah. What? It looks like jellyfish. It's supposed to cover a jar. Do you use it? No. Okay. <laughs> and are you a corn sticky family? Yes. You are? And my husband's not, but I, he uses his fingers and I don't like it. Put the things in the corn. Then he you are the only person who's actually used these. I'm impressed. You have a lot of them too. You must have a lot of corn. <laughs> now what about utensils that I use like once a year at Christmas? What do I do with those? They shouldn't be in your valuable real estate. They should be up high, and we can have like okay. an entertaining. Okay, or, so like, yeah, put it in here. Spot. Okay. This is going to hurt you. <laughs> Here's what we're gonna do. If it doesn't have a lid and a bottom that we right. are gonna match them all, okay, it's going. End of story. Deal. I see a lot more lids than bottoms, so I'm excited. Do you use these? That's a no. Every time you, I know you're gonna try to think of a lie to keep it. 
strange little thing I'm gonna drop or do the doodly thing. Makes a taco ball. Do you do this too? I have it in a very long time. Okay, it's been a year. You're right. <laughs> all right, tell me what's going on here. Well, I was organized with all my parchment paper, my plaster wrap and everything, but then our junk drawer overflowed into here. Bag of keys. You never know, I guess. You never know. <laughs> Can I say it? Say it, say it. <laughs> Stephanie sages her house when ghosts follow her home. <laughs> <laughs> you have the coolest life. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, I'm finding the jackpot. But I want to keep the teapot. The flowers can go. Okay. You want to keep the teapot? But I want to keep the teapot. You have not used this teapot in the last year because it's filled with flowers. I know. Stephanie and I went through every single cabinet, every single drawer, and decluttered. And she got rid of so much boxes and bags of things she's not using and she's not loving to make room for the next step, which is organization. I actually put everything back after we decluttered so I can come back the next day, kick Stephanie out, and surprise her with her transformation. I don't actually have an organizing plan. True story, I'm going to wing it. So this cabinet is actually one of the most important cabinets in the entire kitchen because this is where they store the food. The pantry on the other side is really for snacks, chips, extra drinks. So this is where they store their rice and their pasta, but it's so shoved. I mean, if you need pasta, it's kind of like you're getting it and then shoving it back in. It's definitely not working. I also think that all of these spices can be moved to the drawer. So these dollar store drawer dividers fit perfect in this drawer. I'm so excited about that. And then I actually just made this riser. I'm going to put a link down below to a video that Catherine showed how to make this for all of the spices because look how cute you guys. This is just dollar store foam board cut. So simple to make and you can organize all your spices right in your drawer. Now that we've relocated the spices, we actually can see and organize the food. Want to see this pantry? Wait till you see. Oh my gosh. I went with these clear bins that are perfect for butterflies, but they're a little bit bigger and we can have them stacked behind too. We have room to spare in this pantry now, which is crazy. Like it's not all full. We also added another shelf here just to really maximize the space. She likes to keep the cereal way up high for the kids. So this is just snacks extra food and drinks at the bottom, but now it fits. There's no more shoving. Everything is so organized and I'm just in love with these containers for butterflies. They are perfect. So this kitchen is a good size, but I don't feel like we need two junk drawers. So what we're gonna do is take everything out. I got some drawer dividers from the dollar store that I'm really hoping fit. And we're gonna narrow this down to one junk drawer and one for her baking things and all of the saran wrap and things like that. So this will be kitchen related and then this will be junk drawer, which makes sense because this is where they're naturally piling things. So we're gonna have this whole corner be Colin's corner. Colin is her husband. This is where he's naturally piling things. So it makes sense to make this his drop zone. So the kitchen is done, it looks amazing. Not only is it very practical, but it's visual and pretty. I can't wait to bring Stephanie back, but before I do, I wanna give you a sneak peek of this kitchen. This is my favorite part. Are you ready? Da 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 da. Look at all the food. Okay, this is, 
I know. We've I can't I can't stop talking about it. The food before was hidden behind the spices, which is kind of bananas because you have to eat, right? And I know she makes a lot of things from scratch with fresh ingredients, but you still need rice and pasta and pancake mix and all of the canned goods were lost. And now all of her spices are super organized in this drawer. It's the little things that excite me and this makes me definitely excited. I feel like this is just gonna make cooking so much easier for this family. This kitchen wasn't about a huge transformation. It wasn't really messy to begin with and it wasn't really that disorganized either, but it's the simple things like moving the cutlery drawer here under the plates and dishes. It just changes the entire flow of the kitchen. It makes it so much more organized. I love that this butterfly kitchen really demonstrates that you can have things on the counter. There are so many things on the counter, but it's still organized and it doesn't feel cluttered. I love too that we made a little coffee station with all of her favorite things and instead of having things shoved which doesn't work for anybody whether you're a macro or a micro organizer everything now is easy to get to and better yet it's easy to put away they were leaving things on the counter because it was hard to put things away before decluttering and just reorganizing has made this kitchen so functional this was the biggest problem area in this kitchen. This was their dumping ground. They were coming in the door. They didn't have a landing zone. So everything was ending up here, especially Colin, the husband. They don't have a garage. So he, all his tools, all the things he uses to fix up the house, everything was dumped here and dumped in these two drawers, which were both junk drawers. Now, come on, this is cool. Everything has a home. They still have a lot of junk in their junk drawer. But because they don't have a shed or a garage, it makes sense that they're gonna have more than the average home. But now it's organized. You can see at a glance everything that they have. And over here, this cabinet's gonna just change everything. This is what I'm calling Colin's cabinet. And that's because everything that he uses to fix up the house or things that he's coming home with, he drops here. So I cleared this out so he can now drop it here. It's all of his tools and the speaker when they're having a party in the backyard and his drill. So now we've created a designated zone just for him and a landing zone for the incoming mail and their keys and their sunglasses, which was normally right here on the counter. So we're keeping the counter clutter free and just making a subtle shift. This is what organization is all about. It's about creating homes for things where you naturally put it down. If we had to have him put his tools outside or someplace in the basement, he just wouldn't do it. If it's hard to put away, you're not going to. So make sure you're creating homes exactly where you naturally pile it. Okay, now it's time to bring Stephanie home and surprise her. Okay, go check out your pantry. This is, this okay, is, this is the one that I'm really excited for. How does it look that good? Do you know what's crazy? There's nothing behind here. We have so much space. This is amazing because this is literally where I do my food prep. So having my spices here was important, but having them here is also yeah. very important. <gasps> so organized. So nice. I would love to see the before and after of this because it's probably it insane. It was mostly cords in here, cords and remotes. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're feeling really inspired to reorganize your kitchen today, to let things go, make room for food, and make your space pretty and practical at the same time. Like this video, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. What can I say about Stephanie? <laughs> She's hilarious and fun. I feel like we should be BFFs forever. A couple fun facts about Stephanie. There was more shot glasses than actual drinking glasses in her house. There was 50, 50 shot glasses. And she was like, but we all like to do shots when all our friends are over. This is a party house, super fun. Also, pet chickens in the backyard. 
I don't usually see this in the city. Found that kind of odd too, but also they were adorable. Their names were Paris and Nicole from that reality show, you know, the Paris Hilton reality show, The Simple Life, which I thought was also cute. And they were beautiful chickens and they were watching us through the window while we organized. And then we noticed they're in the front yard. They had escaped. I don't know how they got out, but no, it's just, it's just Alicia and I doing this. And we see the chickens just roaming free on the road. So Alicia, she's a farm girl, went to wrestle the chickens. She's like, Paris, Nicole, come back. And she's catching the chickens, which were very friendly and putting them back into the backyard. But this was like, didn't even phase us. This is a typical day at Clutterbug headquarters. So much weirdness that we just, we don't even, we don't even blink anymore. We're like, yep, gotta go catch us some chickens. And then we'll get back to organizing. Anyways, thanks so much and I'll see you guys next time.